Alright, what is up, what is going on guys? It's your boy Chumbles and I'm back and this time I'm going to be going over the car issue that I had and I wanted to let everybody know a quick and easy-ish fix on how to do this. So as you can see by this picture here, the wiper blades were actually stuck in the upright position. So what would happen is the gear would completely turn and instead of going to the home position, which uh, would be down, um, the wiper blades were stuck upwards. So really, really fun, uh, especially if you live in a snowy area where having the wiper blades is 100% necessary to be functional. So I just uh, did a little bit of tinkering and figuring out how to do this, and I couldn't find a single video on Audi or uh, I'm sure Jetta probably has or not Jetta, uh, Volkswagen, probably has the exact same thing that the Audi has, so hopefully this helps anybody uh, in those categories. So we'll just get right into it, and um, if you guys do enjoy and you found this helpful, please make sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing if it does help, and let's get into this. So in this little video here, I just wanted to display the car and having the covers on it, how it would probably look on your end as well. So you just want to remove that top cover there, and it's super easy to take in and out. I'm sure a lot of you have done it already. And once you have that off, then we can begin the process. Also first in this little picture here, I just want to quickly show whereabouts you will be looking. So around where this arrow was pointing is where you should direct your eyes and you'll see it in the very next clip. So now that the cover is off, you're going to see this entry point where you're going to see a little um, nub there with the bolt onto it. And that is essentially the bolt that you're going to end up twisting, not completely off, but twisting it so it goes upwards and loosens. And at that point, you will be moving the wiper blades to the home position. Now, with that being said, though, something to keep in mind is it won't always go back perfectly because of just how the gears work. So you will have to finick with this a little bit. It's not, um, you know, a one and done, or at least it wasn't for me. Maybe you got lucky and it works perfectly fine. But for me, I had to tinker with this for probably a good... I would say 15 minutes of loosening and tightening, uh, moving the wipers over and over and over again until I got it into the perfect spot. Now that once you have uh, tinkered with this a bit and you figured out that it's in a good position, you've tested the wiper blades, everything works fine. It goes up and back down as it should properly, it goes back into the home position as you're seeing in this video clip here. This is about how uh, straight that I could get it for it to be uh, usable. And it's pretty much perfect. I think it might be slightly off, but honestly, at this point, I don't care if it's slightly um, up a little. It doesn't go into uh, my field of view when driving, so it's perfectly fine with me. And uh, this is just a little video part so that you can see about what mine looks like in comparison, um, I know that it's pretty hard to see exactly where they would be, but hopefully this gives you a good idea. Um, really, it does look like the left arm should be quite straight, uh, horizontal, so that should give you a good indication of how it should sit, and if it works fine, then you know that you have it complete. Make sure that the bolt is tightened and you will be good to go. And finally, in the last little picture here, I am going to show you the only tool that I actually had to use, which is pretty hilarious because I thought this was going to require a lot of different equipment, which I do not have, but all that was needed is this wrench here. So if you guys enjoyed this video and it does end up being helpful to you, um, honestly, I did this with pretty much no mechanical skills whatsoever so if i can do this i promise you guys can too and worst comes to worst if you can't figure this out and it just doesn't work then you will probably need to change the uh, arms out at a mechanic and at least you give it a try and hopefully 
if you do do this and it doesn't work out, you save yourself a couple hundred bucks because apparently that's how much it costs. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.